of the AK-9 train passengers that departed from Abuja on 28th March 2002 at 6 10 p.m. heading to Kaduna but it never got to its destination. The shocker is one which prompted this afternoon address so we crave your indulgence please. The past 58 days has been one of unprecedented agony, although hopefully of seeing our loved ones again. Yesterday took the wind out of our sails. Whatever hope we have, have been ho whatever hope we have been holding on to seems to be slipping through our fingers. We are a family. Nigeria is a one big family. Africa is a one big family. The entire world is a harmonious family, having descended from the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. We owe ourselves a brotherhood, and we deserve a sisterhood. We might not share the same name, religion, tribe, nation, language, or skin color, but we share the exact composition that makes us all same. That is our humanity. No human is made different from the other. From the conception to death, we all tread the same evolution. This message today is to appeal to our humanity towards other humans. Yesterday, we found out through the media of an ultimatum by the adopters of our loved ones to release their children who were held captive and separated from their mothers. These toddlers, from the report we had, kids between 1 to 11 years, the scariest part of this ultimatum is the threat to life. What word is this? What manner of betrayer is this? Where is the humanity in this? The whole world seems to have moved on, but for us, <laughs> Go on. Go on. 
we still live in 28th of March. The days might have gone by, but we haven't. And the world shouldn't. This fight goes beyond the 60 plus people in captivity. It is an accountability owed to us by the people meant to lead us and govern us. It is breaking a promise made to serve and protect not just us, but all of us. Every society is as good as the history. It sets for future generations to look at. The children in captivity have had a major life shift, whether we will admit it or not. Both the abductors and the abductees, these are our future tomorrow. And I ask you now, what do you think the future holds for them? Seven days until we are not able to say we have a sister that works for the common man. Seven days. Should we expect a funeral? Or a liberation. Or a liberation. Seven days for parents to either hug or mourn their children. Seven days for someone to to become widowers. Seven days until children are called orphans. <coughs> Seven days until insurgency and burden three weeks. Seven days, that is just like today. We are calling on Mr. President, President Mohammed Buhari, the service chiefs, the head of security agencies, national and international human rights organizations to rescue our families. They are your families too, please. There can be no negotiation without dialogue. Do not close the chapter on our story, please. It will forever change the course of history. Release your children. Let us have our families and your family back. Do not turn a blind eye on our plight. We are also calling on all the presidential aspirants in Nigeria today. This is not a time to be selfish with your ideas and plans. Share them. Make your campaign promises a campaign reality, please. Finally, we are once again appealing to our dear president and commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to kindly consider and accede to the demands of the abductors of our family members and save innocent Nigeria and your citizens.